morning, Facebook family and friends and our faithful or YouTube subscribers. Today is September 11th, the year 2001. It's going to be a quick video. Um, as you all know, the rents in Atlanta have skyrocketed here in the city. And you have a lot of people moving into the city. Uh, I had a friend of mine I've, that I've known for many years who moved, who's moving, move, moving here to Atlanta. He came into Atlanta to come look at some apartments. Uh, we met up and he wanted to show me some of the places that he was looking at. He had went to one of these apartment finder places, um, and they had gave him a list of places for him to go look at. He needed a two-bedroom, two-bath. I don't know why he needs two bedrooms, two-bath, because it's just him. But he wanted a two-bedroom, two-bath, so I said, fine, let's go look at So he showed, when we, I met up with him. I looked through the list of stuff, and I'm thinking, all the rents that he had on this piece of paper were fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred, eighteen to two thousand dollars a month rent. So I immediately I asked him, I said, why are you paying... Why would you want to pay this much in rent? He was like, well, I don't know. Is that too much? I said, yeah. He said, but every apartment I've looked at, I said, well, you're only looking, everything in this list, is br they're brand new apartments. Nobody's moved, this shit is spanking brand new. I said, you need to look at older apartment complexes. Some of this stuff maybe built in the last 10 or 15 years or even older than that. He was like, well, I don't, I, he didn't know where to start. So I said, well, let's, before you decide on committing yourself to $1,500 and up in rent. Let's go see what we can see for under $1,000. So, we got out the, um, well, when I got on my phone, I looked on Craigslist, and I looked in certain areas in, the, in Buckhead. Buckhead, right off Peachtree Street, right up the road from Lennox Mall. I found a couple of places. I said, oh, these look nice. They're older apartment buildings, older uh, units, but let's go at least drive by them and see what they look like. We got the addresses, we got in the car, we're driving by. They're all under $1,000, you're in Buckhead. Two bedroom, two bath, they're not spectacular apartments. They're not new with granite and all this fancy shit. They, they're, but they're clean and in a safe neighborhood. The very, this is where it gets interesting. The very first apartment we pulled up to, we're looking at it. We're just on the outside looking, I see the guy coming in, I see somebody coming in and out, and I see the front side. And I see the one in the yard and one in the window. And I'm like, okay, that's the unit. I said, let me see something. So I got one to the guy and said, hey, I just called about this unit uh, for rent. And you gave me directions. He said, is this the unit that you the guy I spoke to? He said, yes. And I said, do you mind if we take a look at it? He said, well, I'm cleaning it up right now. It's not in the best condition. Because you, I need to paint it and some other stuff. So I said, okay. So we went in and looked at it. Nice place. Hardwood floors. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, living room, little area for dining table, good, decent sized kitchen. I'm like, that shit is just him. I'm like, this is nice. You ride off Peachtree Road. You're right in Buckhead. Yeah, let me pause this for once. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a phone call real quick. Oh, uh, anyway, the guy allows us to go into this unit. I love the unit. He wanted. He's only asking. Nine ninety five, right under a thousand. It's not a big unit, but it's big enough. I would be happy to. Two people would be very happy to because the location is prime. It ain't spectacular, and it's an older place, probably built in the forties or fifties. It ain't nothing spectacular. It's just an apartment, but it's clean. Off street parking. He says there's two parking spaces. I said, wow, you get parking. You're out on Peachtree. You really could get to catch the bus up to Lenox Mall if you wanted to, or you could walk. I've done it before from that area. You, know, you can just catch the bus on up there. You're in the middle of a train station, so it's not a train station close by. But the bus runs up and down Peachtree if you wanted to. Or take Uber for $2 to Lennox Mall. So, so I'm like, this is a no-brainer here. So he's still looking around. But this is the first place I looked at. And this is what the guy told us. He said, I'm only asking for a $500 deposit. I said, well, that's big. Because most people are asking for the entire rent first month's rent and all this other crazy shit. He said he wants $500 deposit if the credit is good. Uh, and then he also said, he took us in the kitchen. And he said, I'll reduce the rent. But I have listed this out by $150 if you accept these as kitchen appliances. Because I was going to replace the appliances. He was going to put it on a brand new stove. Refrigerator and dishwasher, stainless steel. But if you keep these older appliances, which uh, they look great to me, they were white appliances in good condition, they're not new. But if he kept them, he would reduce the rent by one fifty a month. I said, okay, this gets even better. So I looked at him and said, do you have a problem with these appliances? Because I don't. They're, they're fairly new. They're clean. He's out there. I'm only about two years old. I was going to upgrade the kitchen and do some stuff to it. But if you're willing to accept this kitchen the way it is, 
I reduced the rent by one fifty. So I'm looking at him like, okay, this is a, uh, you better. This is perfect. But Walter, this is the first place I looked at. I haven't had a chance to really look at nothing. You don't need to look at nothing else. You need to do go ahead. And the guy was like, I said, where's your office? He said, my office right up the street. You can fill out the application. Give me the five hundred dollar deposit. I'll take the apartment off the off the market. While you while we while we do this, um, while I run your credit, and everything you, we already know his credit's fine. So I have to convince this fool. I'm thinking, dude, you're under a thousand dollars in rent now. And he reduced another one hundred and fifty. But I don't know if I want. I might want the stainless steel appliances. Do the math. One hundred and fifty dollars in month towards some damn stainless steel appliances that you don't own. He's going to reduce it. 150, he's going to do some other improvements to the kitchen too, but shit, fuck that shit. 150 times 12, that means you to save $1,800 a month, I mean $1,800 a year in rent. Now you under $1,000, even more. This is even better. The appliances are clean. They're newer. There's nothing wrong with them. They work. Leave them. You know, all this shit you're renting. He was like, but I really want to have my heart set on one of those nice high rises. I said, the hell with that high rise. That's seven hundred to eight hundred dollars more in rent. More than that, almost a grand. What are you thinking? So we sitting there going back and forth, back and forth. I said, where's the office? We can go up there. At least just go fill out the application. Give the man the five hundred dollars. Your application. If you let him hold it while you look, think, because this this ain't gonna last long. So we agreed to go back to the guy's office. You fill out the application. Get all that stuff. He's holding the unit. So I said, good. That didn't take as long to do. About an hour to run up the street, right up the street. Man went back to clean his apartment. Be perfect. So then we go looking at these new ones. We got sure I shouldn't have did that. But we did. We went looking at this new stuff because you wanted to see it. And they're beautiful. I do. The amenities are nice. And I've lived in these expensive, I've lived in nice apartment complexes. Um, but I never used the stuff. I didn't rarely swim in the pool. Child, I. Two million dollar house in Buckhead. I really stuck my toes in that pool when we in that house. I'm not doing no more houses with pools. It's a waste of money and time. I ain't getting that shit. You get these, get these. Pools. So he's looking at the minis. I said, okay, where you live at now? Do you usually need this stuff? I just don't. I know I don't have the time. So there's no need to rent. Look at this stuff. He said, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, and look at the rent of these damn things. These things are a lot more expensive, almost a thousand dollars more than what you just agreed. This man just agreed to. I said, "We can look at this stuff, but I don't think you really need this stuff." And then they, they were charging for trash pickup, water, all that. This man, none of this stuff is being charged over at the other place. I'm like, they gonna what are these extra fees they didn't slapped on this? I'm like, the woman selling these extra fees. I'm like, shit, this is a waste of time. That means you got to pay this and extra stuff. At least over there, all you got to pay is your electric bill. And gas for your stove and wa hot water. Here you got all this shit. I'm like, what are they thinking? So I, we sitting there looking at these places. And I'm tired at this point, Jock. We already found a place that makes sense. You get to save some money. It's nice. Better areas to me. I, I'd rather live any time. Any, Y'all, I'm just, excuse me. I just like living among safe areas where I know anybody going to bust me across Moscow. And there's another thing, too, about these apartment complexes that I hate you got to park way in that parking deck. Drag all your groceries and shit two miles inside that building. Upstairs, in the elevators, all that shit. When that place up there on Peachtree Road, you pull off Peachtree Road, you park in your parking spot, and walk through the door. You didn't even have to go no damn steps. Two doors. The main door to get in, and the door to get into your unit, and you dare. Your groceries. Why? Drop them off in that small ass kitchen. And I asked him, I said, he's in these kitchens. And I said, you know how often do you cook? How often are you going to use this kitchen? How often are you going to use these things? Some of this stuff don't make sense. And yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. I, I think they're all gorgeous. But I think I'd rather go after something that's more affordable that makes more sense. Maybe because I'm older and wiser and he's younger. He's looking at this stuff and he's coming to new to the city. And he's all excited about this stuff. So how the hell with that shit? By the time you moved into that apartment and paid that hefty interest, you're going to be over in a year from now and it's coming at least up. That was another thing. That man was off on a 13-month lease, minus the 150 a month. If he kept those, you, you, um, um, which he still hadn't made up his mind if he wanted the new stuff or not, because he was like, he kind of wanted the new appliances. I'm like, well, the hell with them damn new appliances. That man is willing to reduce. This went by 150 per month. He was going to do some improvements to the kitchens, new appliances, something with the backsplash, some bullshit. It wouldn't have made much difference. That kitchen, oh, please. 
So we went round and round and round. So the next day, he called me back. We got up the next day. I said, after I dropped him back, I went to the gym. So the next day, he called me back. He's like, well, they approved. the guy approved my apartment. He said, if I want to, I can go ahead and get my key today. I said, well, that's good. The other people tell me it's going to take days to get this shit. This man approved this shit. <laughs> he didn't have the application. <laughs> approved. He said, you can pay the... Well, now they just got to make a decision. Do they want the appliances or not? If you're clicking for an apartment, go find something affordable. Look around. Don't look at the most... Don't run to these new apartments. There are thousands of apartments. Everybody wants something new. These older places are starting to suffer. The place, although is is older, yeah, it's not as new. It's pretty. The bathrooms are a little dated. The bathrooms are okay. Because he had a guy that cleaned bathrooms up many years ago. He owned the apartment building. I thought the place was decent. So he's going to go with that unit because and he still don't know if he's going to get the new appliances or he got to make his mind about that. I don't, me personally, I think to save $150 a month in rent, you're renting, the appliances don't matter. Especially if you're not a big cooker and you don't entertain a lot of people. So what difference does it make? Maybe I'm just, I don't know. So anyway, if you're out looking for an apartment, go look at the older apartment complex. Look on the side streets. Go up down Peachtree Road, um, Howell Mill area. Go in them older places, older neighborhoods. Don't run to this new stuff in Midtown and West Midtown. And all. stay away from that stuff because there are affordable places. Even in Midtown, there are affordable places. We didn't make it over there to see this one place in Midtown I wanted to see. Um, we didn't make it over there because you wanted to look at these new apartments. There was a two bedroom, two bath for Midtown. It was right at uh, thousand dollars to maybe thousand fifty. Um, but the problem was it had on street parking, which can be a headache in Midtown because you know they have shit going on in Midtown. You come on, you ain't got no place to park, and all this shit like that. So yeah, it's like but this guy, this apartment that he going with got two parking spaces for him. Two. Somebody's in those spaces. You just call him. The guy turns the cars towed away. The complex is so small. People don't even know that shit back there. I doubt if anybody been taking those parking spaces up from there. Um, but anyway, the, the purpose of this video is go look. Don't commit yourself to this high ass rent in this town just because you see these shiny new high rise apartment buildings. It's too high. It's not worth it unless you. It's just not worth it. I'd rather save money and enjoy life instead of paying. So let's do the math, because he's at a thousand, it was a thousand dollars, not, well, nine ninety nine. so, let's just say a thousand, oh shit, what's wrong with my phone? Do, 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 do. Let's do some math real quick, and I mean, I mean, to do this, I need to call him to do math too. All right, so, the guy was going to charge a thousand dollars. He deducted a hundred and fifty dollars, that brings the rent down to eight hundred and fifty dollars per month. Eight fifty plus your utilities, your rent is insurance, he said you got to have rent is insurance. Got to have, you pay for your own gas and electricity. That's it. And the place is clean, immaculate. And it's nothing spectacular. I mean, it's, it's not a huge place. But $850 per month in rent ain't bad to be on Peachtree Road in Atlanta. So versus everything else that we were looking at, the high rise he said he liked was $1,800 and something dollars. If this is say $1,800. That's $1,000 more for a two bedroom, two bath. It's not worth it. Even with their... They're, um, they were offering something. It still didn't add up. It didn't add up. You know, the pool area was nice, like a resort and all this stuff. They had a decent gym. He has a membership with Delhi Fitness any damn way. You got three LA Fitnesses to choose from right up the street. You probably can go there any damn way. Find something affordable that makes sense. That's all I'm saying, y'all. If y'all looking for apartments in Atlanta, you can find some affordable stuff in some very clean areas. You just got to look. Look through the creative... Well, I keep saying creative loafing, but... Craigslist, creative loafing. Uh, there's a couple of other apps they have out here, too, now. Set a target. Uh, if you if you live in Atlanta, you can find a decent place for under $1,000 a month. It is not going to be brand new. If you find something new, it's going to be more on the soft side of town. For a thousand, it's going to be definitely on the south side of town. These rents have skyrocketed. You can find decent rents in this town. It ain't going to be no big place. It's going to be an older place, but at least you can find something in some clean areas. Uh, but you got to go out there and look. Because I've lived here for a long period of time. I know these areas very well. I would never pay over a thousand dollars in Atlanta. It's just not worth it. Not when I know I can find something for a whole lot less. 
Anyways, like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends. I just wanted to share that. I'm waiting for my mother to get here because we're going to do some videos today. Anyway, I'm out of here. It is September the 11th. The year is 2018. I'm out of here and enjoy your Tuesday. I'm out. Bye.